Everyone, good morning. Almost afternoon. After weeks of wanting to get out on the mountain and look for mountain goats, I'm finally out here. It took long enough, I know, but I made it out and it's just a beautiful day. I'm super excited to be out here. I've been hiking for about an hour and a half now or so. I've still got a lot of mountain to climb and I'm just hoping to find those goats to be able to photograph. You know, today's hike has actually been a lot easier than it usually is. Usually when I go out on an overnight trip or multiple day trip, I've got a big old backpack with tons of camera gear, all sorts of backpacking gear. And uh, you know, today's hike has been a lot easier, not because I'm in shape, because I'm not, <laughs> but because of the size of my backpack. I wanted to try something a little bit different this week and just eliminate as much as possible from my backpack to make it as light as possible to see what I really need while I'm out here and uh, what I can do without. So uh, it's just incredibly light. It's so nice to have this thing right now. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep hiking, see if I can find these goats. Follow along this week as hopefully we photograph some goats. I've been wanting to get these guys for a while. So let's see if we can find them, photograph them. And then I'll give you a little bit of insight on what's in my backpack and what I left at home, both backpacking gear and camera gear. Let's keep going and uh, see what we can find. What a hike, that was, that was intense. I knew I was out of shape, but man, that was bad. <laughs> I am so tired right now. I'm just about to the spot where I'm gonna camp. I'm just gonna grab some water here. This is really the only source of water up here. Everything else is just kind of dried up. So I'm gonna grab a bunch of water, uh, refill my little water bag here, and then uh, fill up my a uh, filter bag as well, and I'll take it over to my camp, get my camp set up, start my uh, dinner, rehydrating, get my sleeping bag lofting, all that stuff, and I'm gonna get my thermals on underneath because it is cold, it is so cold up here. It's supposed to get around 20 degrees tonight, and uh, I want my sleeping bag lofted and warm for me tonight. Um, I've actually got some goats over here. I've I counted 23 of them. Uh, I've got this little body of water here and then it kind of dips down into this drainage and then goes up on this really steep hillside. And just on that hillside over there, uh, they're just kind of basking in the sun. I guess they're a little cold as well. Uh, they're just kind of basking in the sun, grazing on that hillside. So I'll be able to keep an eye on them from where I'm going to set up my camp. And then in about an hour, hour and a half or so when the lights uh, a little bit better. I'll head over that way and see if I can get some pictures of them. I'm gonna grab some water and uh, I might even get some pictures. I've got this really pretty rocks and vegetation over here so I might grab some pictures of those real quick and then I'll uh, head over and set up my camp. seems like a really nice spot to uh, set up my camp. I've got this little nook back here in these trees. It's almost like a horseshoe shape of trees. Got some squirrels chasing each other around over there. Um, yeah, it's almost like a horseshoe shape of trees. And there's this little tiny nook in there, just big enough for me to set up my camp. So I'll, uh, I'll set up in there. It's pretty tight in there. So I'm not gonna film this portion. 
in there. Um, but before I go out and uh, get those goats and before I get everything set up, I did want to review really quickly just what I have in my backpack on this trip. Like I mentioned before, my one of my main goals of this trip was just to eliminate as much as possible from my pack. And it was so nice just how light this pack was hiking up. And that was a pretty strenuous hike, so I can't even imagine doing that right now with a big old backpack. So this pack here, um, I've got three days worth of food and whatnot in here. Um, so I, I, I could live out of this backpack for three days uh, comfortably, you know. Uh, but let me just go over what I have really quickly in here. I'm just going to put a list up on the uh, screen in the video. That way I'm not boring you guys completely. Um, but I'll just go over what I have in here, just the necessities. And uh, yeah, then I'll get set up and head out. So uh, with my meals, I'm going to get those going right now. Uh, they're going to take a couple of hours tonight rather than just like 15 minutes like they usually do. Uh, the reason why is because you may have noticed I don't have any sort of uh, boiling, you know, dishes. I don't have my pot that I usually bring with me. I don't have any uh, backpacking fuel for my stove. I don't have a stove. So the reason I I did that is just to eliminate bulky items and uh, save on weight. So what I'm going to be doing tonight is using my cold filtered water and I'm going to be rehydrating my uh, meals with a method called cold soaking. And uh, what that is is just rehydrating food with cold water rather than warm water. Um, it works great, it just takes a lot longer. Like I say, usually when I um, rehydrate my meals when I'm backpacking, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes per meal, and uh, it, it's just really quick. It's a really nice way, really easy way to uh, get a hot meal. If you're curious at all how I do any of my food prep, how I do my meals, anything like that, uh, I made a video a few months ago where I review all that information. So I'll put a link to that in the description below. You can check it out. Uh, but the method that I'll be doing tonight is that cold soaking. Um, and it just, it takes a couple of hours to rehydrate the food. And you're just kind of stuck with a, a cold meal rather than a nice hot meal, which would be amazing um, up here tonight because I'm like shivering right now. But, uh, oh well, you know, I saved on the weight and the space. So uh, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna get set up though. I don't wanna bore you guys to death with, uh, with gear stuff. So I'm gonna get set up and then we're gonna go have some fun with those goats, assuming I can uh, get up to where they are. You know, with cold soaking, uh, like I said before, the uh, concept is it's just the same as rehydrating, um, you know, food with hot water, but uh, you're just using cold water instead. So the liquid amounts that you use, everything like that stays the same. So uh, I've got some spaghetti here. So I'll be having some cold spaghetti tonight. I did spaghetti the other night. I was out um, backpacking and I had cold spaghetti the other night and it was actually, it was pretty good. And uh, so yeah, this method works well for when you're trying to, trying to save space and weight or, you know, if you forget your stove, you know, that would never happen to me. Um, I just had cold spaghetti the other night just for fun, but um, yeah, if you were to forget your stove, 
you could uh, you could cold soak as well. And it worked great for me the other night while I was backpacking. So, all right, I'm gonna get these soaking, and then uh, yeah, let's go find some goats. an absolutely incredible evening I just had with those mountain goats. I was able to find them. They were still up on that hill and the sun had dipped behind the mountain so they were all shaded um, and then they started to come down a little bit and that's when I started to photograph them. I got a little bit of video, not much video. I focused mainly on photos um, with these mountain goats, they can actually be pretty tricky to photograph because they're constantly moving. And so uh, I just, I didn't do a ton of video because I was so busy taking pictures of them. Anytime I would try to do something with video, I would get like this amazing pose somewhere. And I, by the time I, you know, tried to get the video over to it or raise my camera and get a picture at that point, I missed it. The goats, they're just constantly moving. They don't hold still for very long. They don't pose for very long. But uh, what an incredible evening. That was amazing. I got a picture that I am so excited about. Um, there's, you know, I, there's a lot of pictures that I take that I really, really like. Um, but every once in a while, I get one of those pictures where I just can't stop looking at it. And I got one of those tonight. And I'm just so excited about it. I'll, uh, of course, I'll show you guys at the end of the video here when I show you some of the pictures that I got. Um, it'll be the last one that I that I put up, unless I get one that I like even more tomorrow. <laughs> but, uh, I'm gonna eat my cold spaghetti now, and uh, yeah, hop in my sleeping bag because it is cold. It is getting really windy, and if you couldn't tell, it's like almost completely dark. So. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get my dinner, hop into bed, and uh, look at that picture again, <laughs> and then go to sleep. But uh, yeah, we'll see you in the morning.
This cold spaghetti is amazing. Good morning. What a windy, windy morning this morning. I don't even know if you can hear me, it's so windy. The wind picked up last night around 10 o'clock and it has just been this intense, crazy, frigid, frigid wind ever since. So uh, I'm gonna pack all my stuff up, get some oatmeal, cold soaking, uh, carry it with me and I'll go out and hopefully find some wildlife. I got up early this morning and photographed the sunrise, just a beautiful sunrise. I was hoping to take my drone up and uh, get some some footage of the sunrise, but it is so, so windy. I, I don't think it's gonna be a good idea to get my drone up right now. It's just a small little drone and I think it's gonna have a really hard time. <laughs> so I may have brought that drone for nothing. It's okay though. Um, I'm gonna go find some wildlife, hopefully. Hopefully those mountain goats again. I haven't been able to spot them yet this morning, but there's plenty of other wildlife in the area. So I'm gonna go look for some animals, get packed up, get packed up and then go look for some animals rather. And uh, let's see what we can find. Well, I wasn't able to photograph any mountain goats this morning. I did see some way, way up high on a rocky cliff, but I wasn't able to photograph them. It was just like this sheer rock face that, I'm not climbing up that. <laughs> I'm not a, I don't have a death wish, so. Um, I just watched them for a little while and I've been out hiking looking for whatever other wildlife I can find. And I thought it was about time for some cold oatmeal. <laughs> there are some coyotes, I don't know if you can hear them. They're kind of yapping, it's still kind of windy so I don't know if you can hear them over the wind. But uh, there's some coyotes calling. I've seen some mule deer this morning, some small little bucks. And uh, I'm in this rock field right now and there's all these piles of thistles and grasses and stuff that are drying right now and those are from uh, pica actually. Pica will collect grasses and other vegetation and they'll lay them out on these rocks and they cure them essentially they're making hay and that's what they'll survive off, survive off of in the winter so I'm uh, just gonna sit here have my breakfast and uh, see if these these pica come in because that'd be a lot of fun to photograph but you know there's certainly a lot of wildlife around it's just a beautiful beautiful area I love it up here this trip was really good um, my consolidated pack worked out really, really nicely. Um, especially coming up after these mountain goats or if I was going after bighorn sheep or something. Uh, a species where I have to just do intense, intense hiking. That pack worked out really, really nicely. Honestly, it's not a pack that I would want to bring on a multi-day trip um, over fairly even terrain. Um, there's just a few things, like last night I really, I really missed a hot meal. You know, that spaghetti was really good. But the whole time I was just dreaming about a big steaming bowl of rice and beans and some roasted beets and parsnips on the side. So, you know, I, I really do like my hot meals at the end of the day. My pillow last night, my compressible pillow. That's my luxury item. That's an item all last night I was wishing I had. But you know, I made do with my inflatable pillow and it was great. And then uh, the biggest thing that I've missed though was my fluid tripod head for shooting video. I just brought a little uh, ball head and it was really hard last night with those mountain goats trying to shoot video on that little ball head. 
So that's the main reason I focused primarily on photos last night. And that worked out really well. I really liked the photos that I was able to get. I was really happy with those. So this trip, you know, I did without it and that was okay. But I was missing it last night um, when some of those goats were running around and uh, some of the younger ones were just kind of playing around. It would have been really nice to have a fluid head rather than the little ball head that I've been using. So there are a few things that I've missed this trip and on a longer backpacking trip where it's not just straight vertical hiking the whole time, uh, I think it's worth it for me to bring my bigger pack with my other gear just because that's how I'm used to backpacking and I'm, I'm fine doing that all day long if I need to. But overall, wonderful, wonderful trip. I've had so much fun. I keep thinking about that image still. I can't wait to go back and throw it on the computer, the one that I took last night. Um, you know, it's just a very simple image, but the colors, the background with the mountains, um, the pose. Did you hear that? That was a pika. They're in here. That's good. Uh, the pose that I got from the, the goat and with it being a younger goat, I don't have a lot of pictures of the younger ones. Just, it, it's a simple image, but I was so happy with it and I'm just looking forward to throwing it on the computer. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to show you guys here at the end of the video, but overall, fantastic trip. Absolutely love it here, up here. I'm glad that I was able to make it up before it gets too cold in the season, because then it gets all icy hiking in these rocks and it just becomes really dangerous to climb in. So uh, I'm, I'm glad I made it up. Fun, fun trip. Uh, I'm gonna have my breakfast, see if I can eat these pika and what other, whatever other wildlife I can find up here. And then I'm gonna head down and uh, head back home. Great trip though. Thank you so much for following along this week, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I uh, would love to hear from you guys. Do you like these longer or not longer, but do you like these more like vlog type videos of trips that I do? Uh, do you like the tip videos that I do? Uh, Q and A videos, stuff like that. What do you guys like to see on this channel? Because I've got a variety, I've got a mixture of all of them. And uh, you know, I, I love doing all of them, but I'd like to hear from you guys. Do you, what, what types of videos do you like? I love doing these vlog type videos. They're probably my favorite ones to do. But, uh, you know, I, I do like to keep a mixture of things on here. So just let me know what you guys like and I can plan my videos accordingly. Thanks though for following along. Have so much fun out there on your own adventures. I love hearing about them in the comments. Be safe out there and we'll see you next time. It's actually a pretty good cold oatmeal there. Got some cranberries in here, fantastic stuff.